what is an idiomatic expression? An idiomatic expression is a group of words that has a figurative meaning. So let's take a look at 30 idiomatic expressions that you can use every day. Idiom number one, to cost and harm and elect. This means something expensive. For example, is Mercedes cost an arm and a leg, which means that the Mercedes was expensive. Number two, bury the hatchet. Bury the hatchet means to end a quarrel that you have with somebody. For example, their brothers decided to bury the hatchet for the sake of their family. They decided to reconcile and stop fighting. Three, back up the wrong tree. This simply means to look in the wrong place. For example, Ken told him right away he was barking up the wrong tree. Number four, barrel of laugh. This means someone who is fun and amusing. For example, Chandler is a barrel of laugh. This means he's fun to be around and is probably a funny guy. Number five, blue in the face. This idiom means to be tired after so many tries at something. For example, he never gives up until he is blue in the face. Idiom number six, see eye to high. This means to agree with someone or something. For example, my brother and I don't see eye to high. That means they don't agree on anything. Idiom number seven, have an axe to grind. This means to do something for a selfish reason. For example, the project should be awarded to an employee with no axe to grind. I'm an employee that doesn't have something against the company. Number eight, a feather in one's cap. This means to have an achievement to be proud of. For example, he has always been proud about the feather in his cap, whatever the achievement may be. Number nine, black out. Black out means to faint, to faint, to fall unconscious. For example, Bobby blacked out for a second. Number 10, I love this one, when pigs fly. This means something that you think would never happen. For example, I will give you all my money when pigs fly. When someone says this to you, they just ridicule you. Number 11, a blessing in disguise. This means an unexpectedly good thing. For example, Losing the job was a blessing in disguise because I got a better offer. Number 12. Call a spade a spade. This means to speak the truth about something even if it's not pleasant. For example, I believe in calling a spade a spade. That means speak your truth whatever the circumstances may be. And don't be afraid to speak. Number 13, to feel under the weather. This means to not feel well or to be sick. For example, I was feeling under the weather due to my cold. 14, beat around the bush. This simply means to avoid saying something or taking a long time to get to what you want to say. For example, she kept beating around the bush. I really don't like people who do this. 15. Let the cat out of the bag. I know there is no cat in a bag. This means to accidentally reveal a secret. For example, she let the cat out of the bag about her traveling plans. Idiom number 16. Quick on the uptake. This means to learn quickly or to adapt quickly something. 
For example, she has always been quick on the uptake. 17. Break a leg. This doesn't mean she break a leg. It means good luck. For example, break a leg on your exams, she said. She is wishing you the best on your exams. Item number 18. A stone throw from. This means not very far. For example, Adam's home is a stone throw from Kate's home. That means the homes are not far from each other. Idiom number 19, eat the sack. This means to go to sleep, to go to bed. For example, she was exhausted, so she hit the sack early. Idiom number 20, the writing on the wall. This tells of a terrible warning, something bad is about to happen. For example, his actions speak of the writing on the wall. Number 21, a cock and bull story. This is a false story given as an excuse. For example, the dog ate my homework or the only thing he was good at was telling a cock and bull story. Number 22, let off the hook. This means to allow one to go free or to absorb someone from the guilt. For example, the police let the criminal off the hook. 23, spit it out. This means to say what you wish to say. Now you can say this when someone is beating around the bush. For example, I haven't got all day, spit it out, you know, say what you want to say, get to the point because the other person clearly has other things to do. Idiom number 24, it's all Greek to me. This simply means to not understand what the other person is saying. For example, that last lecture was all Greek to me, meaning you didn't understand a thing that was said. Idiom number 25, take the bull by the horn. This means to face a difficult situation head on. For example, Wendy had no other choice but to take the bull by the horn. Number 26, on pins and needles. This means to be nervous, to be anxious about something. For example, it was clear that she was on pins and needles because of the exam. Idiom number 27, up in arms. This means to be angry or grumpy about something. For example, he was up in arms about the soccer game. Perhaps he lost the game and then he was angry about it. Idiom number 28, the last straw. This means a last chance at something for example i felt bad for her because yesterday was the last straw idiom number 29 is jump the broom this means to get married for example he knew he was ready to jump the broom when he saw her idiom number 30 old your horses. This means to relax or to calm down. You say this to someone who is angry or agitated. For example, hold your horses, he shouted at her. Since you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.